Welcome back to another Witcher free video guide. Today I'll be showing you how to get the best heavy armor set in the game. It's called the Your Sign Heavy Armor Set, which is from the Bear Witcher School. You can find the timestamps linked below in the description on where to find every single part of the set. This includes all the weapons, the silver sword, the steel sword, the crossbow, and of course the Your Sign armor set itself. You will need to be level 20 to actually equip the entire set though. But why is this heavy armor set considered to be the best in the game, especially on harder difficulties? The Your Sign armor set gives you a very high damage with strong attacks, and it also has an extremely high armor rating that can be upgraded. But you also have great resistances on the armor set. And if you didn't know, resistances in The Witcher 3 are more important than the actual armor value. Armor value is basically a flat reduction to damage, whereas your resistances are a percentage based damage reduction. This means it can massively reduce damage taken compared to having a high armor value alone. In many cases this can mean you will take zero damage. But also once upgraded, if you take a look at this unique armor ability, when we use a Quen shield to defend ourselves, if that shield then shatters, there's a chance for a new one to be cast at no stamina cost. This bonus increases by 5% for each part of the set you're wearing. So when you're wearing all six pieces, you have a 30% chance to recast the Quen sign for free. And the damage you deal with the explosion of the Quen sign ability will be increased by 200%. This essentially makes you nigh impossibly hard to kill, and it is especially effective on harder difficulties. And the Your Scene weapons have a fantastic adrenaline point gain of plus 22%, and they give you a plus 75% critical hit damage boost. So those heavy attacks are going to be hitting really hard. I recommend upgrading the swords with attack power runes to increase their damage further. But now let's take a look at where to find this entire armor set and all its weapons. Now just in case anyone watching this is new to The Witcher, you actually start the game here in White Orchard. You'll then come to this location over here, Valen. If you take a closer look at Valen, you'll see it has a large city to the north called Novigrad. During the main quest line, you'll eventually come to the docks here and you can fast travel to the next main location in the game, the Skellige Isles, which is where this armor set is located. And now here we are at the Isle of Skellige. Now the first thing we're going to be picking up is the Witcher's Crossbow Diagram from the Bear School. So the first place you're going to arrive on Skellige is in this giant big island in the middle of the map here at the main castle just here. You're going to want to grab a boat and you're going to want to sail northwest to this town over here on this small island called Svorlag. Now you need to come here for the main quest anyway, but we need to go to the very south past the old watchtower to this secret little cave on the shores here. That's where we're going to find the crossbow. Here we are, we can see a wonderful view and if we turn around this is the cave and just into the entrance here we're going to find... Stinks of carrion. Oh Jesus Christ, I did not actually see that drowner there. Let's take him out first. There we go. Right, I've killed the Drowner, so from the cave entrance just here, you're going to want to come inside and then to the right you'll find this ledge here. Just jump up here and then jump across this ledge, which I almost failed, believe it or not. And then there's another jump you can make here across there and you'll find a dead body of a skeleton, which you can loot. And here we have another letter and the diagram of the Your Sign crossbow, so grab that and we can take a read of this letter as well. Now I'm going to be reading these letters as we go along, but feel free to skip ahead if you can't be bothered to listen to them and you don't care about the storyline of this weapon set. My dearest Ingabar, arrived at Fort Tour Search on summer's first day. He tarried there a while, draining more than one barrel of mead with the Jarl. Both were fast friends. Then one day, Jarl Torgvir summoned me and ordered me to sail to spike Rug with him to show him where the sirens were the thickest. It's no exaggeration, my little mountain goat, to say I've never met a warrior like him in my life. He's lithe as an eel and strong as a bear. When the sirens came at us, I hadn't even time to seize my axe before he gutted them all. And his weapon? 
Why, I've never seen anything like a crossbow. But so small, he wields it in one hand. I know he has a sketch of it in his saddlebags, for I spied it when he was packing up. Once he's asleep, I'll try and sketch a copy to take to our smith on Al Skelly, so he can make others, so we can protect ourselves from the sirens in case they return. Soon, at dawn break, we're off. Sirens are swarming thicker and thicker, my hands are numb from so much sword swinging, my breath is ragged, but thinking of you gives me strength. And he's of course talking about the Witcher, and now we know the location they went to kill the Sirens. So the inn our mysterious friend was talking about is located back on the main island of Skellige. If you travel all the way to the south here, on the other side of the island, you will find the ruined inn. Now there is a story to why this inn is actually a ruin, so you need to fast travel here next. So as you can see, this is the ruined inn. I've already killed some harpies here, and we're going to find a secret basement inside this inn, so we're going to need the Ard Shout to access it. I've already blown it out of the way though. Do take care when you go inside, because you're going to find two level 20 wraiths within. So let's wait for them to attack us and dispatch them appropriately. Where's the last one gone? There she is. Come out and get me. There we go. So once you've killed both wraiths, you can find the Yursine sword located in this chest just here. The diagram of the Yursine sword. You're a sign. I, I honestly, I'm so sorry if I pronounce this incorrectly. I'm dyslexic. We also have an innkeeper's note, which we can have a read. But if you firstly check down the hallway here, you'll find another note just here. An arrest warrant for the Witcher Gerd. Let it hereby be known that the Witcher known as Gerd has committed foul crimes against Dukau Payara. Assaulting her grace's majesty, resisting her grace's guards and collaborating with the usurper and other such deeds bringing harm to Dukau Tayara. Any person providing him shelter will be considered complicit in his crimes. It is the duty of each and every one of Dukau Tayara's subjects to provide any and all possible help to the agencies of the law who seek to capture the bandit. For the apprehension of the Witcher Gerd, dead or alive, we have set a reward in the amount of 300 Arxi Denar in the name of her grace. So we have here the innkeeper's notes. That was right before dusk. And then a witcher showed. Dirty, unshaven and stinking worse than a fisherman from Faro. Asked for a room and a bucket of water so he could freshen up some. First I didn't want to let him in on account of the bloody sack he was carrying. But then it came out he had arranged to meet Jorgan Ironhand here. And a friend of Jorgen's is a friend of mine. Sun had long set by the time Jorgen showed. Witcher handed him that sack and we all learned why it stank so bad. Inside was the head of a siren. Jorgen had contracted the Witcher to take it down after it attacked some folk in a cave in the northwest part of Spike Rook. Seeing it dead cheered folk awful fast and Jorgen, happy as a clam, started buying everybody rounds. The Witcher refrained at first, saying he was off to take care of a strigger that had infested the ruins of a fortress on the northern edge of the isle. But in the end he gave in. After all, there's no refusing Jorgen. Made a lovely heap of coin that day, for the sun started rising and not a man had gone home. The Witcher got drunk with Jorgen and started telling his tales. Then we all sat down for some quent. That Gerd, he might be the first, he might be a first class warrior, but he's one lousy card player, lost half his reward for that siren to me, and drank the other half. And then, wanting to win it back, he wagered a diagram for some kind of steel sword. To my eye, it was a scrap of rubbish. Some things you gotta do for the sake of sportsmanship and, and camaraderie. So I accepted the wager. And I assume he won because we found it here in the innkeeper's house, but what I must say is that because the witcher was found here, it looks like everything else was burnt down. After you finished up at the inn, we're going to travel all the way to the north of the largest island. All the way past the Minus Camp. Just south of the mountains here, you're going to find a long track that leaves you past a small lake to this old ruin just here. 
Now this ruin is guarded by golems, but do not worry, we have a plan to get past them. But it does have some golems present, so you're going to want to be careful when you approach. There's actually a really easy way we can just grab this scavenger's gear without even fighting any of these monsters. You can just run round to the right here. And just quickly grab all of the loot from this dead body skeleton. So now we have the diagram of the Silver Witcher Sword. Also on the skeleton, you will find the Knight's Letter, which we can now read. Or you can skip ahead if you don't care about the story. Your honoured, your most honoured grace, the Duchess of Arxie. The Witcher Gerd feared your grace's wrath, feared your grace's righteous fury. So off he fled to Skellige, to that hive of pirates, thieves and other bandits and such. In sooth, the gods must have smiled on our quest, for quickly did we catch his foul scent and track him to a public house near the village of Fidal, where he was banqueting with the locals. Some sought to protect him, treating the treacherous man as a companion in arms. We therefore showed them no mercy and burned the inn to the ground. Alas and alack, the witcher escaped us once again. But we tracked him to the ruins of an old fortress called Etnir, where he went to hide or else perchance lay in wait by some monster. We made haste to assault his position with all our strength, but still the treacherous foe slew five of my men, wounded me most severely and brought the ruins roof collapsing down on us with some witchcraft. Never fear, we shall surely free ourselves from here once more. I can only guess because this man was dead that they never actually did manage to unbury themselves from all of that rubble. Meanwhile, I've ordered the vile witch's campsite searched and have found a diagram for some highly curious weapon. It is enclosed with this writing entrusted to your grace's safekeeping. Another day, perhaps two, and we shall dig ourselves out of this rubble and catch the witcher. If fate is kind, now the message does go on but it's really just cursing how stupid the witcher is and how dare he dishonour your grace by rejecting her and so on and it pretty much just tells us that the knight is very much in love with your grace. Once we are done here we need to travel all the way to the north east, grab any boats and travel over here to this island, to Eurilla's harbour. Once you arrive, you're going to want to come to the north of the village, just up the mountain past over here. Now, once you arrive in the village, you'll actually be able to see the tower to the north over there. So we're going to run directly towards that tower. Just to show you on the map, this is the village. We are just to the right of this circular old ruined keep here. And then there's kind of like a parkour road that we can take all the way up to this very old castle, uh, which we're gonna be using. Now you'll notice that this pathway is blocked just here. So we're gonna go right, because there's actually like a secondary route, but it takes a little bit of parkour to actually get to the top. We're gonna ignore these villagers, forget them, they're dead anyway. And we're gonna ignore these trolls as well, just for the sake of this video. Right, we're taking care of this troll, there we go. Now we can carry on down this road once again. All right, so back to the jump we should take, just over here. And then we've got to run around to the right and jump over here, which, oh my goodness. Luckily, we made that. All right, we killed the sirens as well to make our life easier. We're just going to climb up this area here and carry on around. It's a pretty straightforward path, really, but I just wanted to show you just in case you're getting lost along the way. My goodness, that's right, Geralt. Use your fists to kill it. Let's take out this siren too, there we go. And we can jump over here and just carry along this path. I like how it just goes to this super peaceful, serene music after every battle. It's kind of funny. It just sounds super strange. You can see if we slide down here now, we can get back to the main path. And we can enter the castle which is straight ahead of us which is where we need to go to actually grab this armor set. I seem to be really bad at jumping today, there we go. So this is the entrance to the castle. 
And do take care because there's a few wraiths once you go inside. Make sure you loot all of this stuff, by the way, before you head in. You can also, if you go up to the very top, find a secret treasure chest just over here as well. So make sure you grab that while you're here. And if we jump back, there's also a body, I think, here. There's another chest just here with a candle in. How, how nice of them to leave a candle. We can also go right up to the top of this mountain if it takes your interest. Anyway, let's drop down here and go inside. Once you go in, you'll see an iron grate go to the left and just carry on around and down this spiral staircase just here. It's not too hard uh, to find the location of this diagram, but you can get lost, so just to make it easier. If you go right and straight on down this hallway, a wraith will spawn at the end. Let's take him out. He's only level 7. There we go. Just here, you're going to find a treasure chest with some random diagrams. But most importantly, you need to use this lever just here. Because that's going to open that gate over there behind you, which is the one we need to access. Well, we don't want to access the wraiths, but um, let's take them out anyway. So once again, from this lever we just pulled, if you actually go down here to the second gate on the right there is a body this isn't um very important but there is a unique relic weapon called daystar here and a greater runestone as well so you know you can grab that if you need it and you're also going to find on this tomb here the ballad of torgar the red so make sure you pick that up we'll read that later but for now let's go and drop into this cell just here do take care of the fall Come downstairs and then go right and head upstairs all the way. And you're going to find another little ledge to jump up and another one. And then there is a wall. Now, you can use the odd sign to get past this or you can actually jump over it. If you jump over it, I think you actually stop the wraiths from spawning. But I'm just going to use the odd spell to open it myself. Um, and just over here, you'll see on the right, that's where we entered from, uh, that iron grate over there. You could see this is the throne room. Actually quite a nice stained glass window with a view there. But um, the chest that we need with a diagram for the uh, Your Sign armor is just here. So this has the whole heavy armor set inside it. Um, and it also has the Chronicles of Clan Tour Search and the Ballad of the Witcher Gerd. So you can read those all and you can you know finalize the whole story here there's the wraith it's finally spawned the level 20 wraith very spook all right so we've killed the wraiths and if you guys want to shortcut out of here you can use this lever to open the gate back to the outside there you go and make sure you go outside and appreciate this goddamn amazing view out here you can see the isle of skellige over there but now, let's take a quick look at the armor stats and see how good it actually is. To get the equipment made, we're going to travel back to the castle on Skellige and just find pretty much any blacksmith, armorer, or grindstone. You can find a smith here in the castle just on the right as you go through the entrance, if you didn't already know that. And we can chat to him. Willing to craft something for me? Craft something for me, will you? So now we can craft the Eurosign boots like so, and we can also craft the chest armor just here, and the gauntlets, and finally the Eurosign trousers as well. And now we have a full set. So next you'll need to find a blacksmith at one of these icons on the map to craft your swords. There's one right here, let's go and chat to him. Willing to craft something? Will you craft something for me? So if we scroll down, we can craft the Eurocene crossbow just here. Let's craft that first. Next we have the 
Uracene Silver Sword. So let's craft that. And then we also have the Steel Uracene Sword, which is just here. So let's craft that next. And now we have the entire Yorsin Witcher set. I hope you found the video helpful, guys. You can find all of the other armor set locations linked down below in the description, as well as the Witcher Free hidden detail series that I'm still working on currently. And if you guys check out the main channel, you will find I'm playing a new game called Mountain Blade 2. The main campaign is due to drop at the end of this week, so I'm super pumped to get into it and of course you can subscribe and press the bell icon for future witcher guides too but thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one goodbye